What if I told you everything you know about crypto is about to change? Caspa didn't just build a faster blockchain. It pioneered the first proof of work block DAG using Ghost DAG, breaking free from the limits of linear blockchain. And now Caspa's taking the next revolutionary steps, programmable applications, without smart contracts, no virtual machines, no rollups, no L2 fragmentation. Most cryptocurrencies copy Vitalik Buterin's design and Ethereum style VM, smart contracts for programmability and L2s for scaling. But Casper is stepping into truly uncharted territory with VProgs and the release of their yellow paper just opened an entirely new frontier for crypto. But I'm sure you're asking, what are VProgs? Let me explain. You are now entering the crux of crypto. Hey guys, Crux here. Welcome to the ultimate pit stop for Web3 wisdom. Smash that like for Puff Tux. He said, why have smart contracts when you can have zero knowledge programs? This is gonna be a technical video. So let's get right into the breakthrough you need to understand. VProgs, verifiable programs developed by Yonatan Sampolinsky and Michael Sutton are designed to replace most smart contracts, which honestly sounds impossible at first. Everything in crypto today runs on smart contracts but they're limited because they must execute on the blockchain itself. VProgs flip this completely. Instead of clogging up the network, they run off chain and send Caspa a ZK proof cryptographic receipt, proving the computation was done correctly. On Ethereum, Solana, SUI, basically any other blockchain, Every node is required to run the same code, the same transactions, and the same applications. That's why networks get clogged. Add in a virtual machine, and now you got extra complexity, new attack vectors, more bugs, and slower performance baked into the system. VProg applications run their own logic independently without burdening the chain. Now, here's the upgrade most people are missing. Smart contracts all have to follow the exact same rules. In VProgs, every program is sovereign, it sets its own rules, its own logic, its own fee model, and its own state. Total freedom without breaking composability. Smart contracts actually break composability, and that's DeFi's biggest problem. Every app spins up its own token, its own liquidity pool, sometimes its own rollup or sidechain. And before you know it, liquidity is scattered across L2s, bridges, wrapped assets, and a dozen isolated mini economies. And it gets worse. L2s don't just fragment liquidity, they extract value from the chain. Sequencers, MEV bots, and rollup operators all take their cut before Ethereum ever sees it. VProgs isolate all of that. Every application runs directly on Casper's layer one, but with its state and its execution completely isolated. That means no gas griefing, no MEV extraction, no state bloat, and far fewer attack surfaces. You'll keep full composability, zero fragmentation, and none of that smart contract baggage. Let's think about this for a second. Ethereum barely clawed its way back to all-time highs this cycle, and there's a reason for it. All the value that should boost Ethereum gets siphoned off into its L2s like Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, and even Base, which is going to launch its own token soon. Then you got the DeFi giants like Aave and Uniswap, pulling even more economic gravity away from Ethereum. Instead of running one unified economy, Ethereum turns into thousands of mini economies. Everything is fighting for the same liquidity, the same users, the same attention. And honestly, that's why I think Ethereum didn't show up to compete this cycle. Its own ecosystem was dragging it down. With VProgs, Caspa doesn't lose value to L2s or app tokens. Every program, every transaction, every interaction settles directly on the layer one using the native token. Caspa becomes a one unified economy. So the native cast token becomes a winner. No more tokens being minted out of thin air, pretending gas and governance are real use cases. And just to recap, DeFi today is suffering under three main problems. Liquidity gets scattered everywhere. L2s drain value away from the main chain and apps can't be sovereign and composable at the same time. VProgs were built to solve all three at once. Unified liquidity, zero extraction, and total sovereignty without breaking layer one. Before we move on to other bullish catalysts, quick intermission from today's sponsor. Whether you're new to crypto or already deep in the game, the first thing you need is protection online. That's where NordVPN comes in and their huge Black Friday deal came early this year. NordVPN encrypts your data and hides your location, so hackers, exchanges, and bad actors cannot track what you do online. And with Threat Protection Pro, it goes even further. Blocking malware, fake exchange sites, 
and even scanning crypto wallet addresses to flag dangerous ones before you click. The second reason to use NordVPN, freedom. You can change your virtual location to anywhere in the world, unlocking news, tools, and content that might be region locked from trading platforms to sports streams. So whether you're stacking sats or just learning the ropes, a VPN is not optional. If you've been waiting for the right moment to level up your online protection, now's the time. Hit my link below, grab this insane Black Friday deal while it lasts. All right, now back to some Caspa catalysts. If you've been living under a rock, Yonatan Sampolinsky straight up turned down Binance's invitation to celebrate being named one of the top 100 people in crypto. With the cypherpunk movement roaring back through projects like Zcash, Yonatan stayed true to his roots and declined the offer on principle. He refused because the reward, it wasn't about him. It was voted on by us Caspians, and he wasn't willing to claim a win that felt belonged to the community. And more importantly, Yonatan believes that crypto has drifted from its cypherpunk foundation all the way to casino culture. He publicly called on Binance to take responsibility and help steer the industry back towards real decentralization. If that isn't leadership, I don't know what is. Now, there are community claims that Binance wanted roughly $42 million worth of cash, about 3% of the supply, just for a listing. Let me be clear, that is not happening. And more importantly, it doesn't need to. Caspa does not rely on Binance. Node growth is at an all-time high. Adoption is completely organic. Tier 1 Kraken has already listed it and Caspa just only turned four years old. This grassroots community without caving to pressure is exactly why this ecosystem is so sticky. In this new wave of privacy projects rising in the shadows of Zcash, the cypherpunks are waking back up. Bitcoin OGs are jumping in, institutions are circling, and the old school ethos is resurfacing. And here's the irony. One of the people who tried to strengthen Bitcoin in its early days, Aviv Sohar, Pave the way for the tech that Caspa is built on. Yet Caspa still gets overlooked as crypto purists. It's a classic crypto story. The loudest projects get the attention, but the most important ones get discovered late. Caspa is set to introduce optional shielding directly onto its base layer, giving users a choice to stay fully anonymous and riding the privacy wave Zcash helps spark. I don't expect VProgs to be completed until at least 2027. But in the meanwhile, Igra Labs will be rolling out smart contract L2s on Caspa, adding the missing piece, programmable applications. This is expected to go live around March 2026. And when that happens, developers will move in first and users will follow after. DeFi, real world assets, gaming, AI, the entire ecosystem opens up. Let me wrap this up with why Caspa is my favorite project in all of crypto. Caspa didn't only reinvent the wheel. It took the best wheels from every direction, perfected them, and fused them into one layer one super chain. Bitcoin's fair launch, Ethereum level programmability without the VM, Dogecoin's pure proof of work ethos, Zcash style optional shielding, IOTA's parallel DAG concept, finally made practical with Ghost DAG. Caspa isn't just any old blockchain, it is the Omega Crypto. Now, check out my Omega Black Friday deals, now 33% off monthly and 50% off any annual plan of any of our 3 watt memberships, each one giving you daily live Q&As. The gem hunters find those low cap gems before they send. The VIP trading group has over 500 members sharing the best trade setups. The Academy takes your trading from rookie to pro, which now comes with expanded courses that teach you how to build that perfect portfolio. Plus, we offer one-on-one -on -one portfolio audits. I've already helped walk over 200 members step-by-step -step through my market approach and what changes I'd make in their shoes. It's not financial advice, just the exact playbook I use to win in these markets. Use my affiliate link below to help support this channel. Thanks for sticking with me until the end. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Caspa? Are you sold or are you ready to fold? Drop your take in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, hit me with that follow on X, and join our free Discord server. Catch my live streams every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, check out my recent video with my thoughts on Zcash and set up your alerts because I'll be dropping my Uniswap versus Ave video next. Check out my Zcash deep dive right here. I know you'll enjoy it. And while you're at it, here's another video you don't wanna miss. Click one of these to dive deeper into the crux of crypto.